Hello, everybody, and welcome to GST 302, uh, Business Creation and Growth. Uh, welcome to the first week of our, we're going to be taking this class for the next eight weeks. Now, for this particular week, we're going to be going over the overview of your course guide. Now, I'm going to share my screen for you to see my slideshow, PowerPoint slides. Now, as I said, my name is Vilkiso Katagum. Yes, I think, yeah, we can all see my screen. Okay, my name is Vilkis Katagum. We're going to be going over business creation and growth. This course is very important and is crucial. Um, in your first, sorry, okay. Um, this course is a two credit unit course that has a minimum duration of one semester. It is a compulsory course for all undergraduate students in the university. This course is just for you to develop your competence and confidence in creating viable businesses with high potentials for new value addition and high income. Now, the whole point of this course is to help you and guide you into building or developing your own business. It will teach you how to run your business, how to start it, how to write a business plan, essentially, so that it can actually help you in the future. Now, the main objectives of this course is first to make you appreciate the importance of business in the society, make you recognize the need to grow existing businesses, make you appreciate the value and importance of family businesses, challenge you to continuously diversify the scope of your business and expose you to management principles and best practices and also guiding you on business startup. Now to walk through this course, you successfully complete this course. To successfully complete this course, you are required to participate in both the theoretical and practical aspect of this course you will be you can you go over there are the instructional videos as like this one um that you can go over you can watch there's um there's also the discussion forums for you to take as well um it's just for you to interact and participate in online facilitation which will be held every um thursday no every friday i'm sorry every friday by 3 p.m so those that is your that is what you need to walk through this course so you just read all the materials that are attached um you go over this powerpoint slide as well and your course material too so just go over them read them you can read further as well because they are we have attached um in the e-library for this course we have attached different books and journals for you to go through and also videos for you to watch just to enhance and for you to learn more and understand each topic. Now, the study units for this course. We have 25 units in this course that are divided into seven modules. For module one, we have concept of business and new value creation. Module two is theories of growth. Module three, sources of funds. Module four, marketing. Module five, ethics and social responsibility. Module six, new opportunities for expansion. Module seven, managing transition from startup to growth. Now I've attached some references and further readings for you. You can click on them and go over them. If you, you they're actually your course material as well. You can just click on it and go over it and see, just read different aspects of what entrepreneurship is or starting a business is as a whole. And the next thing is your presentation schedule. You are required to carry out um, presentations for your business plan. Now, when the time comes, you will be assigned a date and time, scheduled time. You'll be known, you'll be um, informed on when you will be able to carry your presentation. Now, this course carries two different forms of assessment. You have continuous assessment, which uh, the business presentation, which takes 20% of your course, Enterprise presentation, 30%. Um, discussion forums, including a portfolio presentation, 10%. If you meet some 5% participation in the forum discussions altogether, 
make it maximum 60% for your continuous assessment in this course. Now for final exam, it takes up 40% of your total course. So um, which a maximum of one and a half hours. Um, the exam will consist of 60 multiple choice questions, uh, deficit application, analysis, and evaluation of businesses. So everything meaning 100%. So try as much as possible. You just remember, every aspect is very important. You can't leave one and not do the other one. No, you're graded for every single thing. Your business plan itself, your presentation itself, and the discussion for participation and then attendance as well, plus the examination. So those are the assessments, two forms of assessment too. That is business plan enterprise discussion forum, which is one aspect, and then your financial final examination, which is the other aspect of assessment. Now, how to get the most from this course? Use the intended learning outcomes in your course materials to guide you through the course. Um, you can use it at the end of each unit to examine what you've achieved so far. Um, carefully walk through each unit and make notes. Um, you can join the online real-time facilitation. Each real-time facilitation session will be video recorded and posted on the platform oh, and also sent to your email. The audio version of it will be posted to your mail. In addition to the real-time real facilitation, watch the video and audio recorded summary of each unit. Now, facilitation, there will be two aspects. You have asynchronous and you have synchronous. For the asynchronous facilitation, we'll present a theme, we'll send you a theme for each week. We'll direct and summarize forum discussions, coordinate activities in the platform, score and grade activities when need be, and then upload scores into the university recommended platform. Then, as I said, you would carry, you do discussion forums, We'll have activities in the class and then a split of assignments. Then that is the asynchronous. And the synchronous is the real time facilitation that will take every week for the next eight weeks. So, um, thank you very much for joining me. In the next class, we'll be talking about the concept of business and theories of growth. As I said, my name is Bill Kiss Katago. Thank you and see you next time. <laughs>